now that i'm aware of these things i'm not gonna be putting my money there i don't want to support these things that are like so evil and so dark like you know as a mom that just really really bothers me hello guys it's your girl nurse kirsten and we are back for another video so today i want to do a review on a very special bag to me kind of share my whole experience and also how i feel about them now and why i'm no longer going to be buying from them i actually got the wallet on chain and this is really special to me honestly because it's my very first like luxury designer bag ever um, i think i got this in 2016 because i remember i was graduating from nursing school at the time and i graduated december 2016. it was around like november my boyfriend at the time not the one i'm married to now but my boyfriend at the time wanted to give me like an early graduation gift and so he took me to dallas highland park we went to the ysl store and my favorite color as you guys know and everything that i ever purchase is always like baby pink and at the time they had just one last baby pink with a gold hardware and that's like really my favorite combination and that's it it's meant to be and if you look at like all my previous pictures like it was it's one of my favorite things to wear really a special bag to me i initially was going to do an unboxing at that time but obviously nursing school so many things going on it was so chaotic i was preparing for nclex i never really had the time and i ended up just using it already so it's like kind of pointless to do an unboxing years passed by and i never got around to really making a review about this bag but because of recent events that happened um that made me not want to purchase any more from this bag from this brand in general i thought like i might as well give you the review now since i'm probably going to be letting this go and you might not be seeing me with this bag anymore let me show it to you tell you everything about it i really like how the containers are i'm using a really nice box at the time it was 15.50 she put it in a black envelope for me so it was initially here i even have my receipt um see it was 15.50 but with texas tax it came out to 1677.88. Never opened it, but this is like the authentication card. And after I shopped there, a week later, I got um, a card in the mail. It was from the essay that I shopped with, and she was just saying, thank you so much for shopping with me this past week. I hope you're um, loving your new chain wallet. Let me know if I can assist you any further. Have an amazing holiday. I'm sincerely... Yeah, she made the experience absolutely great. She taught me a lot. Overall, my experiences, at YSL has always been nice. Let's go ahead and look at this. Like this. Take that off. The box is really nice and sturdy. And then you have this and it comes in the dust bag. I really love their dust bag. It's like nice and soft. It's that non-scratchy type of material. And I like that the outside is black so it keeps it clean. And then the inside is actually white so you don't have to worry about color transfer with your bags. And inside, this is where my wallet and chain is. This is what she looks like. Yes, I know she's beautiful, amazing. Um, you've got that nice, beautiful gold hardware, and it's not like a light gold, it's like a gold gold. So I really like that. It definitely pops. And if you open it, you have this, and you have that gold chain. Let me show you what it looks like. So beautiful. I love, love, love how it looks. Um, inside you have all these card slots, 10 for over here, and then there's that inner compartment, and then there's this compartment too, and then there's a zippered compartment in the middle that you can use, and then another compartment out here, another 10 cards and then another compartment so lots of compartments however they are more for like papers cards smaller things i can put like a phone in here so i would have my phone in this entire thing but yeah i actually for the first time looked at the inside where they have the markings of the serial number which should match the one in here have an option if you want to detach this let me show you see and you can take it out if you don't want to use it and you just want to use it like a big wallet so it's very versatile which is why i love using this it's like you can just use it as your clutch and literally take her like if you don't want to use that chain and just be holding it like that or if you like having that chain you can do it like as a crossbody, like which is how i usually do it or you could do it a side like that 
I really love pink and gold together. So yeah, there's, you know, there's not much to complain about. So yeah, for as far as like a first time bag, it's just really so special to me. It's, I, I'm never gonna forget that I got this. Nursing school and yeah, so I love that lover. But um, I'm sure you guys have heard of recent events about like that scandal that Balenciaga had. Personally, I don't think that that was a mistake at all whenever you got big companies are having campaigns and even photo shoots whatever it is everything is well planned out there's no way that you know they could just put the blame on the photographer if you research more into like their company um everybody that's involved all of the dots are there and can easily be connected like there's no denying it so i definitely see like the exploitation of children especially in those pictures and as a mom now that really 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 bothers me um also they had this one picture that shows like baal and um in the tape and baal even in the bible is a god that they worshipped where they would use children for sacrifice and so you know it's it's a little bit dark books behind one of the picture cases about child pedophilia i mean um in the back is a work of a certain artist and that if you look at the other works of that artist it's showing children who have like their genitalia cut off or like there's blood on the floor it's all just very disturbing and i hope that you're even already aware of these things and if not if this is like all new to you please go research and read about it like just simply google like why balenciaga got cancelled or what is the dark evil history it's not just that one of the biggest things that happened is you know not that i ever was a fan of balenciaga but the issue was the big parent owner company is the caring group and caring happens to also own YSL and so that's why that there is that connection so there's another scandal that happened where they saw that the owner of the caring has a store where they auction like children like little children mannequins that have like, reproductive organs on the faces i don't know how to say this in a way that i'm not gonna get like banned or, um but yeah it's so disturbing and and do you really want your money going there so i told myself now that i'm aware of these things i'm not gonna be putting my money there i don't want to support these things that are like so evil and so dark like you know as a mom that just really really bothers me if we are putting our money into these brands that definitely support that then like what are we doing we're playing a role so i told myself i'm not going to be purchasing from anything that is owned by the caring group anymore that's just my personal decision and i hope that like there's going to be more people that care i haven't really quite decided yet if i'm going to be selling this bag or like just giving it away it just feels like you know a little bit of a waste because it is such a good bag i mean it's been years of use and it's held up so well it's not fragile i mean there are some wear and tear in like corners that you can see or also like right here see but that's because that's where i always touch and as far as like the amount of time that's passed by it's held on so good it still looks like really really clean i actually have not um gotten it dirty <laughs> believe it or not just by my lifestyle we have like no complaints about this bag at all i love 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 it maybe i'll still be using it it's just really difficult for me maybe i can sell this use the money and buy something else that i really like but i guess considering that this has a little bit of connection to me because it's related to oh yeah like this is when i graduated nursing school and this was the very first bag i'm kind of like a very sentimental person so it's hard for me to let go of it too so maybe she's just gonna end up staying in my shelf but yeah so yeah, I feel like I don't really have anything else to say. I know that there's so many options out there and there's a lot of these new upcoming mid-luxury brands that Tanner Leatherstein, I think that's his name, has actually like tested, broken apart and said like it's literally like the same thing that he finds in the designer luxury brands, if not even better. And so I'm really interested in checking those out, trying them, seeing like if they really are treasures and if they're really good, especially because the price is like unbeatable. I think I'm gonna be trying those um, and doing my own reviews as well. So if you wanna see those, make sure you hit like and subscribe to this video. If you have any questions, comment it down below. You can reach me at Instagram at nurse underscore Kirsten and you can message me there too.